Is that light too bright? Probably not. Oh man. Oh man. This just a touchy subject. I've been waiting and holding out on this for years. It's, it's been real hard. I didn't want to hurt nobody's feelings, and I also don't care if I hurt your feelings. I, sometimes things just need to be said. So this is why, this is my, why I love all little slash hate, all caps, Volvos. So let me start off, like my, mom, my mama say you gotta hit them with something nice first. So I'm gonna say something nice first. The best part of Volvos is just the chassis. The, the, the car itself, other than being square, and if you don't like square cars, it, it ain't your thing. But other than that, you know, they're excellent vehicles. They're strong. They're stiff. They're very safe. They make excellent vehicles for motorsports. <clears throat> motorsports. I'm going to say it one more time. Motorsports. The reason I'm reiterating that word is because the worst thing about Volvos not you guys. You guys are Volvo freaks. Welcome to your safe space where you can be a purist as long as you don't hate on people. You can be a wild, freaky drifter as long as you don't hate on people. I don't care, you know. But we know where the hate comes from. The hate comes from people with boring, basic, unmodified Volvos who need a pat on the back for a layup. That's what those forums are. Those are groups of people who have no ambition to do anything. They have done nothing special, but they want to be patted on the back and praised for whatever Volvo 240s today, and they overpaid for. I paid a thousand for both my cars. It's people out here trying to sell the same cars I got for a thousand, for seven thousand. No turbo, not good paint jobs. It's horrible. The forum is the worst part of Volvo. If you're a Volvo person, the first thing I would suggest to you is. Get advice from other people who build cars, not just Volvo people. Don't get me wrong, there are some awesome Volvo people. Time Attack Brit, Friggin' Stan, Kyle Hates Volvo, Bag Volvo 940. There are plenty of them that are awesome, but there are plenty that are not. You know, that blue 242 blocked me, and I never ever had a bad conversation with him. He just decided one day, I, I don't like anyone that I feel like is com competing with having a cool Volvo with me, so I just block them. Not that I stole any of that guy's ideas, but you know, when you're a vaping hipster, you get offended by any little thing, you know. So someone probably told him my car and his car looked similar and it got him butt hurt. My point, I like drifts and lifts, cause he has content. But outside of those things, there's no real content on Volvo forums. You got admins that will throttle yeah, they will close your comments for a couple hours, cut them back on, close them, cut them back on. The ad, the biggest jealous person that you're going to see in the Volvo community a lot of times be the admins. It ain't, I know you're like, Nick, why are you going on the rant? Because you have probably seen me pop up in these forums trying to help people and also roasting and defending young guys trying to do new extreme things to their old Volvo, trying to keep them running. I often defend those young bucks against these purists who hadn't done anything special. There's nothing special about the car and there's nothing special about the mechanic skills. But they're mean to people and they'll roast you for 45 minutes on the smallest thing. Unless you're an uh, underage girl. If you're an underage girl, if you're 17 and 18 and you put a, a Volvo picture up and you ask the dumbest questions where you'll get 100 likes and everyone will trip over their own dicks to try to answer that question for this young lady. But if you were a 19-year-old guy and you ask these same uh, fuddy-duddy boomers a question, they'll roast you all the live long day. My point being, I am 42. I've had multiple cars. I've been on lots of forums. The saltiest people I've ever met in the car community are Volvo people. By far. You can go to the Mustang Forum. Yeah, there's some smack talking, but there's also a lot of defending and a whole lot of love. The Volvo Forum, you get the, the same people that won't like your cool bill will also like a Volvo made completely of license plates. So, 
What I'm telling you is that if you want to progress your Volvo build, you're not going to do that in the Volvo Forum. Those people are crabs in the bucket. They don't want you to do anything other than keep your car completely stocked so that you can pat yourself on the back and they can pat you on the back and you can all collectively pat each other on the back for doing what? Nothing. That is what Volvo forms are basically filled with. I have deleted every one. I've unfollowed every. I have been on there for three, four years, and I got good advice one time. So to be fair, I'm going to share that good advice with you. It's your cam sensor. Yeah, it's your neutral safety switch or your cam sensor. You need to have spark or gas. Your car won't crank. Go spray some carb cleaner in it. If it cranks, check your fuel system. If you put spray carb cleaner in it and it still don't crank, then you need to check your spark. You know, neutral safety, cam uh, sensor, hall effect sensor and distributor, spark gas. That's it. Now, I gave you everything you're going to want to get basically from these people. But they're not going to give it to you in the two minutes that I just gave it to you right then. They're going to make it take all day. And they're going to try to make a joke out of you while you ask the question. I, that's what I don't like. I don't like bullies. That forum is a bully. A bully magnet. Um, Turbo World, he's got to be the most horrible person to have ever owned a ball ball I've ever seen in my life. The dude got more gray hairs than me and a wife and a kid. And no matter what you say, if you're on any ball ball forum, you know who I'm talking about. No matter what you say. He will follow it up with a link to his damn YouTube page. So you can't even have a cool picture without someone trying to give you some unsolicited photos of their car, unsolicited links to their YouTube page. You can put it up one or two times. But when you drop every link to every video on every Volvo form and then get mad when you're oversaturating the form and then you act like a little child and then you act like a child so when you argue with the people you don't really say anything of substance you just run your mouth like you know verbal diary of the mouth then link at the bottom the worst place for your build is those Volvo forums they might help you because you knew it cars and you need to learn a little general mechanic stuff you don't know exactly what to do they can help you a little but so could you know a Chevy S10 forum. So, what I'm saying is, if you are into lowered Volvos, sick wheels, wide wheels, turbos, motor swaps, all those things, you're wasting your time with Volvo people. I will give you another prime example. Volvo people are so salty that all the people that do V8 swaps, like LSs and small block Fords, they got so tired of the hate, people who love it but won't hit the light, let's be real, that they started their own forum. But the Volvo forum disease has rotted their brain too, to the point where if you go to V8 swap Volvos, you would notice that none of those salty assholes like each other's bill. Because every Volvo guy apparently wants to be the only Volvo in the room. You're unique. You can get a lot of comments on your bone stock Volvo for being some contrarian hipster. And, and they love that feeling of, ooh, that's cool, that's cool. A Volvo is not a luxury car. It should not be expensive. So you do not drive a luxury, luxury European car because you drive a Volvo. And if someone has a Volvo that's modern and they come up to you, be nice to them. Don't be a hater. I've never seen more crabs in the bucket than those four. Now, I know you're like, Nick, this is a long rant. I, yes, it's a long rant. I didn't curse nearly as much as I honestly would like to. But all I can say is if you are trying to build a Volvo, this is your Volvo safe space. My channel is about as safe as it's going to get. I will bully bullies back. I will talk smack to purists. I will hit the like when I like a build. And if I don't like the build, I will just shut the fuck up like my parents taught me. See, apparently a lot of people lose uh, who they really are online. They start talking the game they can't talk in real time. 
any of y'all can roll. Y'all see me at a drift event, you don't like what I had to say? Roll up on me. See how that goes for you. It ain't going to go well. But I have the same personality in real life that I have on YouTube. I'm honestly toning it down because YouTube, uh, YouTube uh, shadow blocks people. If you dare show the gun or talk about a gun or ever said a curse word and they're not making a lot of money, you know. I can't curse, but rap songs are allowed to curse. I can watch someone twerk and curse and say explicit stuff all day, but if I say something, they want to demonetize it. So, yeah, YouTube kind of full of BS when it comes to that. You know, they're, they're all gatekeepers, fellas. I mean, you like real amped, and you're like, ooh, you could be, I could be fighting. Look here, brother. YouTube is a vast world of videos, but it's being controlled by some dudes in an office building. So at the end of the day, you still just trying to impress a office building full of dipshits, <laughs> okay? So you're, some of you are like, I don't know why my stuff, look, Gary Jr. from Hoonigans don't have a lot of followers or subscribers. It ain't cause he didn't have a chance, it ain't cause he ain't fun, it ain't cause he ain't popular, it's cause Gary curses and YouTube don't like regular people to curse. You got to be Brandon Schaub or Joe Rogan to be allowed to curse. You got to be Cardi B or the Migos to curse. But if a regular person want to curse, they don't, they, no, it's not good unless you're already famous. So that's a lot of the problem with online and YouTube and Volvo communities. All I can say to you young guys that are out there trying to build something sick is please don't let these crabs, these fuds, these boomers, these purists who didn't even make the car pure. They just bought the car. It's not like they sit out there at hours and buffed it to a cool shine. They bought it off some old lady for four grand. They want a pat on the back and they think everyone should pay four grand because they paid four grand, which I think is stupid. So, I'm just saying, guys, if you want to see any of my content, you're going to have to catch Swedish Snake on Instagram or Swedish Snake on YouTube. But I will not be sharing my car anymore. I mean, I literally, I have got a hundred likes on those forums and then they literally cut it off to the next day. They are so pressed with not having people have more online presence than them that they will do anything to hold you back. I won't. God bless.